The focus of this lesson, we um, use MTV, Making Thinking Visible. And the purpose of this was after a seventh grade content lesson on natural disasters and how they shape or change the environment. So the focus of this lesson um, was for each of our collaborative groups to take one of these natural disasters that we had talked about and make their thinking visible in that we wanted to see um, what the natural disaster was before, after, during, what effects, and did it have on the environment. And so another piece of the lesson that you'll notice is um, that we focused on collaborative comments, which are questions that group members would ask of each other and statements they may say to each other when they work together. And those are um, comments that we came up with together um, and put on the board to remind students of how to work together throughout the lesson. Um, also, at the end of the lesson, um, students had to present their Making Thinking Visibles. And in order to hold each of the groups accountable for listening to presentations, we had them all do refre reflective writing at their seats. So um, each time they had a different type of reflective writing activity. So one of them may have been a three, two, one, a here's what, so what, now what. Um, we even had, we had a Freyer model and we had the, using the 10 keywords from the presentation, they would write a summary paragraph. And then we used the one where they had the triangle to write three points to remember to and then a circle to write down a question. Yes, that they still had going around. Right. Today we will continue our study of natural hazards. We are going to do this with a really, really, really cool strategy called MTV. We are going to make thinking visible. Make thinking visible. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So each group, there's one, two, three, four, five. Each group will have an assigned natural hazard. Then we are going to present and I have very specific things that I want the individuals to do as they're being presented. I want you to capture a snapshot of what your natural hazard is going to look like and then you are going to put it on this poster board paper and the only words, the only words that will be on this is a caption describing your when picture. When we studied the natural disasters, oftentimes they have a description of the natural disaster, for example, a landslide. And we have um, various video clips that we've used from Discovery Education. But it's very important that the students are able to understand what it was like before, what it's like during and how the aftermath, you know, what, how did it affect, what is the um, long-term long effect of that natural disaster. So by using this making thinking visible, they were able to create a poster type um, group project where we could see, um, we could make their thinking visible and then they just had a one sentence summary of the natural disaster. And we chose the particular writing strategies we chose because they are reflective in nature, but they don't take an immense amount of time to do. Mm -hmm. And so students could do that at their desks as the um, groups were presenting. And then as they were finishing up and moving to their seats, the presenting group also had a particular reflection to write on their work themselves. Right. And as each group presented, the reflective strategy that we asked them to do changed. So it, it was not redundant. It was not boring. They, they were even like, oh, man, we got to do another one? Wait a minute. I, I, I wanted to write that one. So they enjoyed the reflective strategies as well. 
So you have to present your natural hazard to the class. Not only describing your picture, but also describing your natural hazard. So you do have to be well versed in your natural hazard. So if you have flash floods, you have to know everything there is about flash floods, first of all, in order to create the photo or you're making things invisible, but also to kind of tell the class about it, okay? Because the rest of you are going to be sitting here creating something at your desk while your group is standing up there talking about it. So you have to have enough information to deliver to them so that they can create what we ask you to create while you sit at your desk and listen. Ways to start off talking with how to agree and disagree, but you don't just say, I don't agree with you. You have to tell why, right? Do you remember talking about this some last year? Okay. Yeah. Um, if you're not really sure about something that someone says, it's okay to question it, but tell why. That person also has to respond and clear up what you might not understand. If you have an idea, always put it on the table, okay? Always be willing to place your ideas on the table, and everyone should respect those ideas, correct? Right. Everyone should respect and listen. If you disagree, then you jump back up here and say, well, I disagree because, or you can ask more questions about that idea, okay? Because you are creating this together. It's not... Do you mind if I use you in a, as an example? Please. Okay. Just your name. Thank All right. you. All right. So it's not Jamaria sits here and draws the entire picture about flash floods while these guys just sit here and watch him and say, Jamarius, you better make it look pretty. Okay? It's everybody working together and contributing. Okay? That's the whole point of this is everybody put something into this making thinking visible. Okay? So here are some um, statements that you can use and then some important, important reminders about how to work in a group together, okay? So listen to each other, think about your ideas before you present them, ask questions about each other's ideas. It's okay to disagree, it's okay to agree. It's okay to agree to disagree. I'm thinking we can have rain, like heavy rain, yeah, like, sorry, yeah. like clouds and stuff, and then rain coming out and like doesn't feel. And then a little house, feel. a little house. Yeah. <laughs> a little house. A little house. We only have like do probably the, the house right here. Yeah. At the bottom of the hill, and then we have a hill starting like right over here. There's a little hill, and it's going like right down there. How can droughts cause? Wait, should we like? Shouldn't it go? I don't know. Right there. Like, yeah. Like, right there. And then volcanoes can cause like. I guess in the background. Yeah, that kind of. Oh, the hat has to be. Okay. Does that look alright? Yep. And then, here, looks like we can have. Uh, okay. Oh, then, like, mud slides are clouds. fast moving now. Oh, mud slides are fast moving. Okay, don't move. Do not move. You can start with the before and after if you want. Um, don't we want like the house demolished? Yeah, the house, yeah, the house demolished. The yeah, house needs to be like apart, like torn <laughs> apart. <laughs> Put some missing bricks in there. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> wow, like two missing bricks. Oh, my bricks. eyes are broken. That's yeah. so broken. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> A lot of the same bricks. You can okay. use muffins with these. I think we're working well together, for one. I don't know. Like, we're just... Okay, so, well, how do I draw, like, broken picture books? Shows a mudslide. What else? Uh, mudslides are caused by heavy rain. Yeah, and it is more... Uh, Weekend? No. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. Affected by. Huh? Okay. And then, it's, there's a heavy rain with lightning and stuff. A lot of bombs came out of school. I don't know about you. So now you church. changed it from a hill to a mountain? It's more of a clipped wall to me. It's just. I'm just trying to get you to think. That's all. It's kind of, it's in a mountain area, but it's over the wall. What's the difference between a hill and a mountain? Did you just read my mind? I did. I sucked it right out.
What's the difference between a hill and a mountain? Um, a mountain is more longer and bigger, and a hill is like this. Like, say this has dirt on it, and it's a hill. Okay, so dirts are more made of hill. Of hills are more made of dirt. And mountains are more made of rocks. Okay. One of the things that I think that we really focused on was facilitating that collaboration. It wasn't that the students were just left with, here's these collaborative comments, and you had introduced the the collaboration in the beginning of the year and have worked with them and it had kind of gone by the wayside which is why you wanted to focus on that with this lesson but we monitored the groups and facilitated that and encouraged them um, to really focus on working together to create this one product for the lesson to showcase what they knew about that natural disaster and um, even though their, their thinking was just a visual and they could only have one sentence, they still had to come up with what they were going to present and how they were going to present it because they had to have much more information in their presentation than could be on their poster. So that was another important piece that we had to facilitate and remind them that even though you're creating this this visual to show where, what your thinking is about that disaster, um, say flooding, you still have to have that prior knowledge or background knowledge from right. the lessons previously in order to stand in front of your classmates and present it. All right. I hope that as every member in your group looks at this visible thinking, that you can all see the different elements that you contributed. The next piece of this is the presentation. So in your individual notebooks, this is what you're going to do. These are the strategies that you will use for each one of the presentations. When the wildfire group presents, this is what you individually will be writing in your notebooks. So I want you to make a heading that says wildfire. You're going to write down the 10 key words that you hear during the presentation. Then you're going to use these words to summarize, to make, to write a summarizing statement about wildfires. The picture above shows a mudslide. Mudslides are mainly caused by heavy showers. The bear the barrier broke and the rocks and mud demolishes the house. The rain and sleet caused a um, landslide. It destroyed this little town at the bottom of the hill. Um, it has rained and flash is showing the speed of a flash flood. A flash flood just like happens out of nowhere really fast. I was surprised that they took right back up with our collaborative comments. Um, like I said, we, we spent some time in the beginning of the school year introducing collaborative dialogue, um, collaborative group norms, and kind of the etiquette of how we work with others in our science class and other classes. and. Even though I didn't always hear those sentences prefaced in I agree because or I disagree because, um, the students had grown in their ability to um, have productive dialogue and to use productive dialogue language with their group mates. When you think about the content, I was surprised with the time that each of the groups did take to go back and research to make sure that their mm -hmm. their visuals accurately depicted 
things that they had learned throughout those series of lessons building up to that. Mm -hmm. um, and I was especially surprised by the group that had the mudslides. Oh, yeah. Because that wasn't one that y'all had mm -hmm. um, covered. Right. And so they had to really research and they used their tablets and they talked a lot about it and um, came up with an accurate right. picture of what it was and they could mm -hmm. explain it very well to well, the class. And then at the end, um, we even used an exit slip and they had to describe the difference between a mudslide and a landslide. And that was something um, that I definitely hadn't even expected. I did not anticipate that, but was very excited and very surprised. And, and so um, that's a very excellent example of how these strategies are also used as formative assessments and can easily um, let you, can easily help guide your teaching and and these many of these strategies can be used as formative assessments for your students or for us